booktube it's missy and today i'm here to share with you guys my most anticipated reads for february 2018 i did create this list about two weeks ago so i'm not sure if more books have been added hopefully not i do get these books from two different sources the ya lit Dot com and reading books like a boss. I think that is how the blog goes, but I will leave both links down below if you are interested in looking up these books yourself. And yeah, let's get started. I have a total of eight books that I'm interested in reading in February. I'm going to stand here so I have nice a lot of room for the pictures. The first book that I am interested in reading is called You Will Be Mine by Natasha Preston. I own two of Natasha Preston's books that I received from a friend. Story of my life, I have not read those two books yet. I have The Seller and The Awaken, I believe. Those two are both standalones. This one is also a standalone. Um, it comes out on the 6th, and I think all of Natasha Preston's books are going to be YA mystery suspense thrillers. So this one is also in that category. Um, the notes that I have for this book is Secret Admirer, and then it has Envelope Appears on Doorstep, and then Friend Goes Missing. So from what I can remember of the synopsis, there is a group of friends at a house I think one of the friends was, was supposed to come over and there's an envelope waiting on the doorstep that, you know, changes the dynamic of, you know, all the people there. Because now they're trying to figure out where the friend is and whether or not this has anything to do with the reason why the friend never showed up. Because he's probably disappeared. I don't know. But it sounds interesting. I like that kind of stuff. The next book on my list is called Charm. By a Charm and a Curse. Now this is written by Jamie Questel. I'm not sure if this is a debut novel or not. It comes out on the 6th as well. This is a fantasy. I'm looking forward to this book a lot. I even contacted Entangled Teen to see if they would send it to me. They did say yes, but I haven't picked it up yet, so I don't know if um, I was able to be put on the list or not. Uh, hopefully I was because I do want to share this book with you guys and of course I want to read it and it's about a traveling carnival that is cursed and the curse keeps everybody working at the carnival young and a new girl shows up who becomes you know a part of the carnival but then she finds out about the curse and she wants to escape but the thing is if she escapes and breaks the curse will she then kill everybody that is you know still there because then they will become old and die or I, I don't know how it works of course it reminds me of the night circus a little bit and so I wanted to read it because the night circus and anything that looks or sounds like the night circus I want to read the next book I have here is pitch dark you guys have already heard about this on my most anticipated reads for 2018 this is by Courtney Alameda the cover is amazing and it comes out on the 20th it's a sci-fi horror about scavengers in space and dark bad aliens I can't wait I can't wait I can't wait all right um Oh, you know what I didn't talk about in, in the last one? It says space scavengers and deadly aliens who kill with sound. That's going to be cool. So we have the sound part to look forward to. All right, the next book on my list is Cadaver and Queen, and this is by Alyssa Quitney. I think that's how you say it. Uh, it comes out on the 27th, and this is a historical fiction classic retelling of Frankenstein. So if you like Frankenstein, you might like this one. I have put a star next to this one because it's historical fiction and it is a classic retelling. So that means I don't know if I want to get to it right away. Like it's on my list. I would like to read this at some point, but I'm not so interested that I need to pick it up tomorrow, if that makes sense. Because fantasy, I need to be in the right mood to read fantasy. So Anywho, the story. There's a girl named Lizzie who is the first medical student ever. In this world, they have biomechanical cadavers. I'm not sure if the cadavers are used 
for science to explore, you know, for medical students, or if they walk around as assistants to the medical students. I'm not sure. But Lizzie comes across a man or the cadaver and realizes that it's actually Victor Frankenstein. And he's telling her, hey, you know, I was murdered because I know stuff. And so I think the whole thing is her and Victor get together to help solve the mystery. Um, it sounds good, but I don't know if I want to pick it up tomorrow. All right, the next book on my list, we're going back to uh, the beginning of... Why do I want to keep saying November? The beginning of February. Um, so the first four books were... YA. The last four are going to be adult books. So the next one is called The Legacy, and this is by Yursa. I'm not going to say the last name because it's very, I, I don't know, very, very Nordic. I, I can't pronounce it at all. Uh, this originally came out last year in May, and so we're getting a new cover change here. Um, it's a Nordic noir, and it's about a murder that happens and the only one who is left alive is a seven-year-old who was hiding I think in like the cupboard or something but she's not talking so that sounds interesting like is it gonna be like dark places where the girl thinks she knows what happens and then blames somebody for an eternity and then realizes she was wrong or does she really know who the killers are and she's too scared to talk I don't know, but I want to. I want to know. All right, the next book is called Look For Her, and this is by Emily Winslow. This one also comes out on the 13th of February, and it's a mystery thriller, but it's the, it's number four in the mystery thriller. I don't even know why I put it on my list, because normally I don't like reading books starting from a certain number. But anyways, it says, Annalise goes missing in 1976. She is a celebrity in her small town. A young woman is jealous. DNA links to the case and then surface... Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. Neither do I. Okay. So Annalise goes missing in 1976. So in this small town, a girl named Annalise goes missing. People have been talking about it forever. Now, present day, there's a young girl for some reason who is very jealous of the story of Annalise. So maybe she is a, like she's uh, related to Annalise somehow. I don't know. But the case opens back up because somehow the cops get new DNA that is linked to the case. And uh, yeah, that sounds interesting. I wanna know why this, this uh, girl, this young woman, cares so much about an old case and if she's involved. All right, number seven, The Clarity by Keith Thomas. This one comes out on the 20th. It's a sci-fi thriller. It's about a psychologist researching and how memories are made and meets an 11-year-old who has past memories of different lives. Now, these are one of my absolute favorite things to watch and to read. I think I've told this story before on here. I was hypnotized when I was in high school by, by my friend's sister who was in college for psychology. And, you know, she, we were having a slumber party and she was like, you know, hypnotizing us. Not not in the sense of making us look like chickens, but like to talk about our past lives. And I was part of the women's suff suffragette. I can never say that word. Uh, I was a girl in the, um, in like the 60s or 70s. I had like dark brown hair and like brown knee socks and, um, she made me go run to a mirror to go look at myself, but I, I could never see my face. And one of them, I was a saloon girl. Now, I'm not sure if I worked as, like, a waitress or if I was doing the dirty as a saloon girl. I don't know. But I was, I was surprised that all of these came up because, like I said, I was in, I was at a slumber party. This was, like, eighth or ninth grade. And it's not like... I was just coming up with this stuff on the fly. I mean, I, I, I consider myself to be creative, but 
I can't come up with stories like that. And she didn't tell me to say these things, so maybe they were my past lives. I don't know. So this book sounds fantastic. I want to totally read this. All right, and then the very last book on my list is called Zero Day. Now, this is the third and final book in the Hatch, the Hatching uh, trilogy by Ezekiel Boone. I have the Hatching. The second book came out last year. I can't remember what it's called, but here's the second book. And then, of course, the third book, Zero Day. Uh, this is a horror, and the Hatching takes place in Peru, and it's like killer spiders or something. I haven't gotten to it. I started the book uh, a couple months ago and I got to the swarm where someone saw like a swarm coming like waves of little bugs coming and then I put the book down because spiders freak me out a lot. All right, and those are the eight books that I'm interested in reading in February. Again, I will leave the two links down below where I get all of my books from if you are interested. Let me know down below what you want to read this February, what's coming out that I missed, and I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!